Johnny here. Right now I'm in the beautiful ancient Inca capital of Cusco. And in this short film, I'm going to talk about tourism in Peru. Peru, a land of extremes, principally known for being home to the most important archeological site in all of the Americas, offers in reality so much more. Its landscapes range from high Andean peaks to sultry Amazon rainforests, and from high altitude deserts to wild windswept coasts. Of course, it's great to travel with the Incas from Cusco to the awe-inspiring Machu Picchu, but it's also possible to get off the beaten track to explore the remote ruins of the Cloud Warriors in the north or Afro-Peruvian beats along the Pacific coast. Most of all, it's a diverse country that offers something for everyone, but for many, a trip to Peru will begin in Cusco. As the ancient Inca capital and political power base in colonial times, Cusco has its fair share of sites. Sitting in a narrow valley surrounded by pine-covered hills, it's a stunning place with enough cathedrals, churches, museums, galleries, cafes and shops to keep the modern traveller entertained for a week. Of course, with one of the world's foremost tourist attractions lying just up the road, most of the time Cusco is busy with locals and travellers alike. But don't let that put you off. Like many other similar locations, Cusco is popular for a reason. It's simply a beautiful place to hang out. Heading northwest out of Cusco on the road to Machu Picchu is the beautiful Sacred Valley. As the traditional thoroughfare between Cusco and Machu Picchu, the lush agricultural Sacred Valley is littered with impressive Inca ruins. Probably the most famous are the sites of Pizac, where the famous terraces rise over a thousand feet from the valley floor to the mountain top, and at Ulate Tambo. Here again, the site offers great insight into the life of the Inca nation and some great views over the Sacred Valley. There are also some pretty towns and villages to explore. You can hike, horse ride, mountain bike, or even paraglide and you can stay at some pretty special accommodation. But of course, most people traveling this way have one goal in mind, and that's to reach the ancient Inca citadel of Machu Picchu. There are many ways to get to the sacred Inca site. You can trek along the Inca trail, or walk staying at beautiful mountain lodges, or you can horse ride pretty much all the way there. Wild Frontiers offers a horse riding trip through the region. And another great way to get to Machu Picchu is on the train. There are plenty of trains that take you to Machu Picchu, but this is by far the most special. The Hiram Bingham service, operated by the Belmont Orient Express Group, offers a great way to climb through the Andean foothills to Machu Picchu, presenting great views, either from your seat or the observation car, delicious dining and champagne. Alighting at Aguas Calientes, buses take us the last part of the journey to the actual site itself. Although the exact purpose and function of Machu Picchu is still a matter of conjecture, there's no denying that for the Incas, this awe-inspiring ancient city must have been a very important ceremonial site. The quality of the buildings, of the intricate terracing, and the lofty position of the citadel itself all point towards a hugely important cultural centre. Interestingly, it was never revealed to the Spanish invaders and was only discovered in the early 20th century when American historian Hiram Bingham chanced upon it while searching for the lost city of Vilcabamba. Today, it undoubtedly forms the highlight of most people's trips to Peru. Sitting here in front of this amazing, almost ethereal site, it's hard to know what to say. To be honest, I'm a little bit lost for words. What I will say is that it certainly lives up to its billing. Machu Picchu really is an extraordinary place. For many, that is tourism in Peru, but not for us at Wild Frontiers. For us, this vast country offers so much more. For a start, there's the beautiful Lake Titicaca to check out, a giant inland sea peppered by idyllic rural islands. There's the picturesque town of Arequipa, backdrop by the stunning El Misti volcano and access point to the spectacular Colca Canyon, 
where you're pretty much guaranteed to see the mighty Andean condor fly. There are the quite extraordinary Nazcar lines to fly above, and Peru is one of the best places to access the Amazon rainforest, where you're likely to stumble upon all manner of exotic animals. And in the country's rarely visited northern highlands, where we run one of our most successful group tours, among other places to visit are the fortress of Cuelap, home of the ancient cloud warriors of Chachapoyas, and the newly discovered Gokta Falls. And lastly, of course, there are the Peruvians themselves, whose colorful culture dates back into the myths of time, and who today are as hospitable and friendly as any on the continent. For most, tourism in Peru will revolve around three places, Cusco, the Sacred Valley, and here at Machu Picchu. But my advice is to remember that as amazing as these places are, there's a lot more to traveling around Peru than just that. Come and see for yourself. <laughs>